This is my Fixie. It's extremely NJS. I can't not give you Fixie points, so you get plus 51 Fixie points. I need to go call my eye doctor now. Welcome back to another episode of Fixie Points, the show where you all send in photos of your trash builds in order to be arbitrarily awarded Fixie Points. Fixie Points is purely for entertainment purposes and does not reflect my actual opinions of the bikes that you send in, and even if these were my actual opinions, all that matters is your opinion of your bike, and more importantly, if you enjoy riding your bike. What's up? I'm hardly trying anymore and can't be bothered to get out of bed for a silly show like this. Life is short, but don't make it shorter, so be sure to subscribe for more fixed gear videos just like this one, and also videos better than this one. And speaking of fixie points, Lobby Cycles can give you just that. Lobby has fixed gears that are well under 20 pounds right out of the box that you can customize the have your ideal amounts of fixie points right on their website. Consider checking them out linked at the top of the description. First up is this KHS Flight 100, compensating for semi-pursuit geometry with a tall quill stem and high risers. It's like having a Lamborghini Gallardo and then only driving it to get groceries and to take your grandma to church. I see that you have tried to embrace the fast lifestyle with your SRAM S60, but your bar tape is so light that it looks like you even wrapped it without ever touching it. And God forbid that you ride a semi-pursuit bike with drop bars. Maybe that's the reason you put on the white bar tape. It incentivizes you to keep it clean so you don't ride with the drops and throw out your back. But at least you have a sick purple wall nearby that you can walk to and take photos of your bike so you can get validation from strangers on the internet. I do respect that you have just embraced how old you are and just gone full Fred with the cockpits. You've got a carbon front wheel with a grandpa cockpit just to make you a little bit cooler but at the end of the day, you still want those free crab feed tickets by winning bingo. Plus 70.5 fixie points. Do I even need to say anything at this point? I didn't know that people were actually fans of the Emoji Movie. Homeboy is riding brakeless with one strap. Now maybe it's for the best for a fan of the Emoji Movie. I'ma try to say only nice things about this bike. I like the frame color. You say that this is an Airwalk wheel set. I'm glad to see that Airwalk of Payless is finally successful enough to branch out into wheel sets. Your fork! It stands out. You got purple, celeste, thoroughly used, elementary school basketball orange. These are all colors. Too often in society, we buy things, we don't end up using them, and oftentimes we throw it away. So I'm glad that you are helping the environment and reusing components that you found in the recycling bin to give them a new life. This thoroughly used pay less bike gets plus 42 fixie points. This is my, I don't even know what bike, I just built it from secondhand parts I found online. This is pretty, the only picture I got since my brother sold most of the parts. All that is left is this initial stem and drops. Your brother sold most of the parts, but he didn't sell punctuation. Please, there's a thing called periods and commas. They help. This bike is weird because your stem is super long, but it looks like your seat post is at an appropriate height. It just makes me think that you're proportioned like an orangutan. Your bike is fine and it will get plus 29 fixie points, but your grammar is so atrocious that I have to dock 10 fixie points. This is pretty sick. You really use the paint job on this bike to its full potential by going with the black components and accenting it with the Mickey Pistards and the gummies. It's a modern steel fix gear and you really ran with that direction. And I am loving the Thompson bits. I am loving the Omniums. And usually I would want more contrast on a bike like this, but just the fact that the seat tube is gray adds enough contrast. It makes the bike look so dang mean. Thank you for finding a wall that is clean. Thank you for properly exposing your photo. Plus 85 fixie points. This is my hand-painted fixie bike looking for some fixing points. All right, all right, uh, hold on. First of all, I think the paint job is super cool. Secondly, I like your spec, except for one thing, your frame set, it looks like you're repurposing a mountain bike, which is a problem because your chain looks pretty loose. And especially since you're riding brakeless, it looks like it might fall off just like the screws in your head. But it's an easy fix. All you gotta do is take your lovely frame set, take all the parts off of it, and then use this frame set as a mountain bike as God intended. Plus 15 fixie points. Cool paint job. 
terrible photo, flip the bike around. We've been doing fixing points on and off for about two years now, and never has the non-drive side been the correct side. Is there just a normal picture of your bike? What's up with the weird angles? This is so mean to say, but it's like those girls that are only pretty from one angle, so they always take the photo from up here. Nothing screams to the world, love me, please. I'm lonely, like having an imaginary, tattooed, fixie girlfriend. Cool bike, original paint job, but your imaginary girlfriend is... I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Plus 34 fixie points. When did selling incomplete bikes that have not been painted, that are completely exposed to the elements and that will be damaged faster, become fashionable? Remember how having really colorful bikes was popular nine years ago. It's been a while, dude. It's been almost a decade. Let me say that again. Almost a decade since having a colorful bike was cool. And now your bike looks like a guy who got his entire body covered in tribal tattoos in the 90s and is now just trying to get rid of them. Plus 33 fixie points. I feel it. I feel it. You know, it's boring, but sometimes boring just works. I'm really digging the color of the frame set, and the fact that you did a mix of black and silver components adds just a hint of originality without going overboard. Black Omnians with the Silver Zen is one of my favorite combos. Even on this steel bike, I think it looks great. Original without being crazy. Got a good amount of bling while still being sensible. This is a very reasonably dangerous bike. Plus 64 fixie points. JS Bridgestone I built for a friend and my gunner. First of all, the color scheme on this frame set on point. Secondly, that's really nice of you to build this bike for a friend. It's just a bit unfortunate that clearly all of the budget went to the frame set and all of your effort went to wrapping the frame set and not the bars. These handlebars look like you found them in a coal mine and you have the audacity to put them on this Bridgestone along with a knockoff Velocity B43 and some bikes direct looking ass front wheel. And these cranks have a chainring guard. I couldn't even tell you any cranks that have a chainring guard, which tells you how bottom of the barrel this crank set is. And lastly, there's a carbon seat post. That just ain't right on an NJS bike. Accept what it is, embrace that it's a vintage steel bike, and don't try to make it something that it's not. And for some reason, you're trying to make it a piece of garbage for your friend. Honestly, I think your friend would be happier if you just gave him the frame set and threw the rest of the parts in the trash where they belong. But just because this frame set is so cool, it gets 38 fixie points. Now for your gunner. It's called the Street Dog, which automatically gets some fixie points. The reverse spoked wheel? I don't know what to call this. Inverted nipple wheel? I think that's the medical term for this type of wheel. Inverted nipple street dog gets plus 43 fixie points. I don't mean to alarm you, but you need to check into a hotel right this instant and call a contractor because your house is sliding off of its foundation. It's always cute when people try to take photos of, of their bikes, like they're peeking around the corner, like, Oh, I got you, boo. This is not good, interesting, or creative photography. It looks like your house is falling apart and your bike is boring. You have plus 10 fixie points. I think this next person has the previous one outdone. It's not just the house that's sliding off its foundation, it's the entire street. And as a tech-savvy individual, I just want to show everybody that cameras these days, almost every single one, has these lines and they show you if the picture is straight. Why are you all holding your phones and taking pictures of you and your bikes like your wrist is broken or like your neck is broken? There are lines, it's not hard. You get plus 74 fixie points. Greetings from Australia. Paid entirely too much for this bike, $800 because Australia. Despite you being from Australia, where everything is upside down. I have to give you a lot of credit for taking a picture of the drive side of your bike. Even though it's mostly stock, it gets plus 80 fixie points because I feel like it. And also because you're self-aware. Seriously though, all y'all in the comments that are like, why do you like 75s? Omniums are stiffer. I am not strong enough to tell the difference and neither are you. And this guy gets it. That's it for this episode of Fixie Points. Who's the winner? Nobody. Yeah, I'll take that as we're all winners here.
you want to have your bike featured on Fixie Points, please send your pictures and a quick write-up about your bike to I am at zackalardo.com with Fixie Points in the subject line. And speaking of Fixie Points, our channel sponsor, Wabi Cycles, is the epitome of what makes cycling fun. Every one of Wabi's design choices are meticulously made to give you the purest ride quality for the money. And Wabi executes those choices perfectly with Master Craftsman right here in Taiwan and a friendly bike shop in Denver, Colorado that is eager to answer your questions and get you on a bike that you'll love. This amounts to efficient, elegant, and timeless bikes that you can get from a passionate group of fellow cyclists. Wabi's relentless attention to detail results in Wallace, my 58 centimeter Wabi Special, weighing in at 17.5 pounds or 7.97 kilograms straight out of the box. That's well under 20 pounds for a completely steel lugged frame set that has no carbon components. That weight isn't just for quoting and impressing other cyclists though. It results in the best riding experience that I've ever had on a bike with a snappy, responsive, and lively bike that only top shelf steel can bring. That pure fun makes it easy for me to ride Wallace my Wabi Special as my only bike as I travel throughout Asia. So if you're looking for the bike that could very well put an end to your search for the perfect bike, consider checking out Wabi Cycles linked at the top of the description because it really is the closest thing that I've ridden to the perfect bike. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down if you think it sucked. And life is short but don't make it shorter, so subscribe for more fixed gear videos just like this one and better this one and remember to ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.